Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, got another quick video here. I wanted to show everyone uh, once again. Most of these are just off what I get questions on, so it's a lot easier to do videos and explain them that way and then use those for training opportunities. So, GCS 900 here again. We're talking about recording a point. So, zoom in here a little bit. You see, this is on my emulator. It's uh, about five degrees outside right now, so working inside today. Not, no complaints there. Um, so we got the dozer here, um, I'm going to just move, you'll see I already shot one point there. I don't know, I started a new site, so that's alright. So we're going to stop, we're going to here to our menu, or you can do it on this shortcut here as well. We hold down on it, we go to record point, you can put point name, it's going to automatically number them, starting with one. Um, you can change this to no if you just want to shoot without it prompt, prompting you every time, but we'll just go ahead and leave it up there. So you can see here, you can see the black dot on the screen there. Go ahead and back up here, you'll see the dot. So, it's pretty awesome for marking different things that you need to find, or, I mean, I guess if you wanted to do a full topo in the field, you could. Uh, it's a little more difficult on GCS 900, but really nice for marking manholes so on and so forth. Um, the question I get a lot though is guys can figure out how to get the dot there. So you could also go in here to record point. It's going to do the same thing. Um, it'll show you recently what you name stuff. So you can add another point. You see it shot us another point there. So now that we got those, the question is what? where's the information on them? Um, so the really only way I know, and if there is a different way that somebody knows, please comment, let me know, um, to get that information is if we insert a USB and we go to USB and copy those, it'll create, once again, this is on the emulator, so it's going to look a little bit different, but there should create a folder, oops, not the old folder, sorry, the machine folder name. And then inside the file, it has a CSV file that lists the coordinates. So you can see on here, there's our two points that we just shot, two and three. We've got our northern eastern elevation, the time we shot them, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, let's take our thumb drive back out of here. See, like I said, on the emulator, it's not exactly the exact workflow that would be on a machine, but. Get the idea that's the best way to get your points so if a guy did need to go do some topo out in the dozer or if you were to let's say shoot a manhole and you're going to cover that manhole up and you want to come back to it later obviously it's going to stay saved in your in your design but say somebody else needed to know where it was at you'd have to pull that csv file drop that point in the rover or another machine or, or whatever you're looking for there um, like i said that's the way i've done it if there's a better way to do it i'm wide open uh, please leave a comment shoot me an email uh, on what something that works better but once again the shortcuts turned on here if you don't know how to turn those shortcuts on if you go down to operator configuration um, on the other tab here oh sorry soft keys I've got everything enabled but you can uh, turn on and off and these are going to be relative to obviously what machine you're using. Not every machine, obviously, is going to have the same soft keys, but allows you to turn that stuff on and off. And so that's what you'll see on your sidebar there based on what functions you're doing. So, yeah, that was a real quick rundown on recording points and how to access the information. Uh, like I said, if you guys got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them or shoot me an email. Email will be in the description. Thanks.